Welcome back, everybody, and it is our final match of the evening. After having two incredible matches so far, we're going to wrap it up with what is shaping up to be another phenomenal match as we have Breeze Karachi taking on VE Asgard in this 3v3 Tier 2 matchup to round out the evening here. Both teams, 1-0 and 3-0 oh, and and oh in games one as well so they are having a phenomenal start to the season and i mean we're just waiting for everyone to join in here um uh, looks like we have part of one team and none of the other team so far but they do still have time to hop on in here and i mean yeah tier two we're gonna see some tier two gameplay which is gonna be exciting it's gonna be the first time we've had it at least on my stream uh, this is like GC2, GC3 gameplay. Um, as soon as my thing wants to load. There we go. So it should be really good. I uh, I want to say Breeze Karachi is going to be able to take this one. I think they're going to play really well. Just seeing kind of how last week went. Um, I feel like their rotations are going to be a little bit smoother overall, a little bit better communications. But I mean, we've seen it where you come and you play on stream and your team shows up way different than it had previously. So it uh, looks like we have all a breeze in here. We are just waiting on Asgard to hop on in. But yeah, Varso, and it, it really is like, and I think a lot of people underestimate how intimidating it really is right like i mean <laughs> fair enough i i think a lot of people just automatically assume especially watching like crl and rlcs they're like oh you're on stream all the time it, it doesn't really affect you or anything and i i mean i'm one of those i've played in a competitive format like this for a few years now and usually the matches are streamed and it's still nerve wracking. Like you have people watching you, you know, they're watching, you got to perform your best. You know, you got someone commentating that if you make a mistake, their odds are going to pick up on it. So <laughs> depress salad in here doing a little scouting because the winner of this one most likely plays his team. Interesting enough. Uh, I did not call you out on that one. Just so you know. Uh, looks like the other team is coming. They just got done with a scrim, so they are going to be coming in hot here. So just waiting for them to hop on in. We can get this one started, but I, I try to avoid those as much as possible. Um, just because I know how it goes. I've been there. And I mean, unless you're playing like tier one, tier two. Those mistakes are always going to happen. Like, they're still going to happen at that tier. They're just going to happen more often at the tier we're in because we aren't as consistent with it as they are. And so, I mean, constantly calling out a whiff for tiers where you're kind of not expected to whiff, but expected to not play at the same caliber, to me, I don't feel is the right way to do it. But that's just me. So we have one member of that team and we are just waiting for the other two to hop on in and we can get this one started. Uh, Nader, LOS Champs is a circuit style Rocket League where it's it's also Swiss. So records match up against each other each and every week. And then we have playoffs, everything like that. We have memberships, uh, fully integrated website with Discord. It's constantly growing. Um, we have 3v3 and 2v2, and then it's broken up by tier. So depending on your peak MMR, oh, your three peak MMRs over the last couple seasons would dictate what tier you're in. Um, and it's broken up by an MMR range rather than being broken up by actual rating. How do you get promoted from a lower tier? You get a better MMR. So... I mean, say you came in this season and you were 1150 was your peak. And so you got put in tier six, right? And then you grind all this season. And by the time we do verifications next season, you're 1400. You get put into tier four then at that point. Uh, we are just waiting on one more. looks like they are in here. I'm assuming that's their other player. Pull their page back up. 
Yep, that is our other player. Cool. Everyone is in here so we can get this one started here. Uh, I did not. Um, there was an old league called IGL that took that Cookies, who was our administrator and head of the league, that he was a part of for a very long time. He brought some of the things that he liked from there, but also made some changes for this one once that shut down. Um, you can go over to the website or join the Discord and find all the information you want. But we are underway here in game number one. SJT trying to get that one off the ceiling. Good save there. Trizen wants to get it back out. Jesper, nice clear all the way back downfield. He's going to be pushing this one. He has Infernal Dragon on the right side. But a good first touch there coming out from SJT. Ruggy, nice outlet. SJT trying to get it back. Jesper, good 50. Good follow. Great recovery. But Trizen. A great job getting back on that defensive rotation to get the save. And Jesper with the open net tried to find that upper left 90 as that third man just got back in time but not able to thread the needle on that one as Infernal Dragon looking for the dunk. Had a nice little air drag there. Couldn't finish that one off. And right now, a lot of pressure coming out here from Asgard on the offensive side as Infernal Dragon gets that around him. TRS trying to get that 50 out mid, not going to be there. SJT finally breaking that pressure, but only for a second as Rival comes from the backside, gets a huge demo. SJT spawns and has no boost as he tried to get out for that one. Luckily, that corner boost spawned, able to pick it up. Now gets the flip reset. No, it did not give it to him. Couldn't get that final touch off his Infernal Dragon. Plays for that 50. Now Ruggy starting the counter here. Tries and dumps it down. He's going to be looking for the pass across. Ruggy's going to be stealing that boost and rotating out. Waiting to see what develops from here. Ruggy just trying to stall it. Tries and good cut. Good steal. Goes for the flip reset. Just barely misses that touch. Nice save coming out there from Rival. As he sends this all the way back down, lands a little awkward. Infernal Dragon able to win that 50, but Trizen now in a 1v1. That first touch, just a little too heavy getting away from him on that one. As Infernal Dragon able to steal possession back here. Has that, gets a nice touch over the top of one. Just trying to find a bump and does a good job of running interference. But Jesper can't get it over SJT. Ruggy's going to send this one all the way back downfield. Infernal Dragon, nice little touch to get it past the one. Tryzen's going to get the bump, so Ruggy's able to pick this one up. He's high towards ceiling. He got the flip, looks for the pass over, and Tryzen pre-jumping that one just barely. Just barely missed that touch for the open net. Now TRS coming back all the other way. Gives a little change up there. Ruggy able to make the save. SJT into the corner. Jesper's going to be first one there. Gets a nice touch all the way across. SJT able to keep that one away from Infernal Dragon as he pushes it back into the corner. He's looking for a drop down here. Not going to be there. Jesper playing really good back wall defense so far as Asgard and Breeze both showing up here in game one. Two minutes to go. Still scoreless, but both defenses playing well and not really allowing anyone to get a good offensive opportunity as Jesper just barely able to get to that one on on time as SJT was looking to have a wonderful double opportunity there. This one's going to get pushed into the corner. Rival's going to be there. Trying to force Trizen off of it. It's Jesper not going to be able to. Rival now has this one. Ruggie's going to be right there to challenge again. Just trying to keep it in their half. As Rival drops this one down to Jesper. Good cutoff coming out from Trizen. As Infernal Dragon tries to get this up to Jesper. Can't find the outlet as Ruggie is right there to challenge it. Ruggy over to Trizen. Trizen, what a shot. They connect on that one after just missing the first one. SJT doing a good job of stealing boost and being a nuisance, forcing Rival to flip out of the way there. And Trizen putting that in the perfect spot where Infernal could not get to it. And finally, open up the scoring here with a minute 22 to go, but kickoff <laughs> almost. Finally, the backup Breeze's net there as SJT wants to get it over the top. Not going to have it. Infernal Dragon first one to that, but Ruggy able to clear that one all the way back down. Rival needs a good controlling touch here. He gets bumped off. Trizen's going to be first one on that. Just keeps it in that same spot. Pops it up high. Infernal Dragon over to Jesper. Jesper can't get the clear out. Infernal Dragon wanted to get possession. Not able to. He's going to hit that corner just a little awkward. Trizen, huge 50. He's going to hit ceiling and fall right down, but everybody from Breeze rotating back out and oh infernal dragon trying 
to get the give and go going with Rival there. Couldn't quite finish it off. SJT has this one, drops it right down on the nose of Trizen's car, gets too far away as Infernal Dragon was right there, pushes it back into the corner. Ruggy takes this across his own net, trying to get something going here. Tr wants to find an outlet, wants to find a teammate to push it upfield as he was low boost, but nothing came of it. And SJT, great midfield challenge, gets it down to Ruggy. Oh, and they couldn't finish it off as they were trying to get that three-man passing play going and couldn't find the final connection. But final 10 seconds on the clock here. Jesper pops this one up high. Infernal's gonna be there, throws it back towards mid. Trizen cuts that one off. Ruggy throws it back to SJT and Breeze. Take game number one here, 1-0 one and a great back and forth. And I mean, both teams going up and down the pitch really quick, able to get good back wall defense and that's what you're going to see a lot in the tier three tier two even tier one is when you get to this level you need to have solid back wall defense because if you don't they are just going to absolutely eat you alive with double touches and passes off that back wall and both these teams i mean 10 out of 10 on their back wall defense so far but it's a matter of who cracks first, right? Especially at this point with how much they can change their play styles and become a nuisance with bumps or demos or even just changing up the angle of those passes a little bit. It's really gonna come down to who can make the best adjustment while still being able to maintain their defensive rotations as Trizen having to do everything he can there to hold the line as he overdrove that one. Wasn't able to get the clear out like he wanted. Yes, we're high off back wall. It's going to be popping right back for Infernal Dragon, but it looked like he took off a little awkward and wasn't able to get the recovery on that one as Trizen, <laughs> what a pass. Ruggy throwing this one up to Trizen. Sees him perfectly. Trizen's in an awkward spot spot and gets an incredible touch and Ruggie's right there to finish that one off 27 29 seconds in and Breeze already up one off of a beautiful play and that just that feels like it's, that's what it's going to take to break through both of these defenses just one good clear a cheeky redirect and that's it as Ruggie gets a good 50 there Ryzen can get the pinch off the ceiling but does not fall in as Infernal Dragon's trying to clear that one out. Ruggie's going to stick with this one. Nice throw towards back wall. Gets the drop right down at SJT. There to finish that one off as Breeze goes up 2-0. 407 to go. And like I said, a lot of this is going to come down to that back wall defense. And Jesper just not able to get up and get a touch on that one. Gave them a free back wall. Gave them a free pass back out to SJT. And he does not squander that opportunity as this one comes right back to him. He's trying to find Ruggy. Return the favor here. Ruggy in the corner looking for the pass out mid. Good cut there from Infernal Dragon. Jesper back to him. Drops it right back to Jesper. Jesper wanted to find Infernal Dragon again. Not able to quite get there. Rivals up for this one. He's going to get beat clean by Trizen. That's on target. Jesper. Good save, but Ruggy, great pass. SJT with a snipe. And Breeze is cruising here. Up 3 0 with 3.41 to go. And they're passing on the offensive end is crisp right now. And there is no answer that Asgard has for him. but they are gonna need to start finding some type of offense here as they try and get the quick counter <laughs> and rival. Takes the shot, SJT, good save. Tries then able to follow it up. Ruggie's gonna be there. Tries then trying to find SJT. Oh, SJT with a little bit of a pre-jump. He wanted that clip early. Tries a nice little doink back out towards mid. Infernal Dragon trying to get it back to rival. And Trizen just cuts that one off. SJT going for the demo. Wanted to find the bumps. This one's going to be stalled out. SJT can't finish it off. Sitting in the box. Ruggie's up for this. Good beat. Rival couldn't get there in time as SJT just up too quick for that one. Able to kill it as it falls towards sidewall. Trizen can't get it back downfield. SJT can, though. Jesper's going to pick this one up. And SJT with the backside demo and Trizen with the challenge here. Yes, they're just trying to push that across his net. Didn't even know Trizen was there. I didn't even know Trizen was there. I thought that was one of his other teammates behind him. 
and he's able to get the love off of the post. It's 4-0, 251 to go. Fake kickoff coming out. Jesper's going to get an awkward touch. Ruggie wants to get the read. Not going to be there. Rival clears it all the way back downfield. He wants to get a pass over to Infernal, but he's going to get bumped off by SJT, who now picks this one up. Rival removes Ruggie from the field, but SJT still has possession. Wanted to get a pass back to Trizen. Not going to be there. But Breeze just setting up shop in Asgard's half this entire game so far. And really giving Asgard no room to breathe outside of maybe one opportunity. As Infernal Dragon's going to be taking a little shot here. And Jesper, what a read. What a shot. My lord. Infernal Dragon just throwing it towards back wall. And Jesper reads that perfectly. Gets the little bit of love off of his car there. And just sneaks that one in. 4-1, 2 11 to go. That new sign of life here for Asgard as they finally break through. This Breeze defense getting their first goal in seven minutes. Now Trizen pushing this one downfield. He has Ruggie across, gets the pass over to him, drops it right back to Trizen. Trizen to SJT. Everybody getting a little bit of participation on that one. As it looked like Ruggie just tried to shoot that one back post. Over, drove it a little bit, killed it, and tries and got the luckiest of bounces off of his car on that one. Kickoff going right back to Ruggie. He's going to have full boost and pick this one up, trying to clear it all the way down. Jesper drops it back to Infernal Dragon. SJT, what a cut. Nets open for a second, wants the shot, doesn't have enough on that one. Tries and drops it down. He's going to pick it right back up as it's given right back to him. Gets a great pass to Ruggie. Ruggie with the shot. Yes, for good save. Tries in once. Far post. Couldn't find it. Good save coming out there. Infernal Dragon wants to find a pass off the back wall. Not going to be there. This one's coming right back to him, though. Ends up getting a 50, keeping it in. Breeze's half so far. SJT wants to clear it out. Jesper's right there looking for one more pass. Double commit coming out from Breeze. Rival's going to be there. Pops this one up high. Trizen's deleted from the map. But SJT, even down one player, says, nah, I can read this. It gets a beautiful outlet to Ruggie. Nothing comes of it except allowing their teammate time to respawn and get boost. Now SJT's going to clear this all the way down, looking for that bump. Couldn't quite find it. Trizen rotating through, looking for one as well. Ruggie and him seem to just be absolute nuisances so far as SJT puts another one in here. What a shot. Nice job keeping that one close, getting it under rival, and getting the little floater just to catch Infernal off guard. And honestly, I mean, you're expecting a hard shot to come right at you or back post, so I understand why you stayed a little low. As the fake kickoff comes out, And the only thing it did was fake themselves and give up another goal here as it's 6-2 with 35 seconds to go. Good recovery from Infernal as Rival was there to read that perfectly. And Asgard within four, but with 35 seconds to go with how dominant Breeze has been so far. I, I, I got to say, I feel like this one's... Nope, not going to say it. Oh, Ruggy, what a save. I thought Jesper had that one dead to right, and Ruggie just able to get enough of that one as SJT and Ruggie trying to get the team pinch going there. This is going to be cleared all the way back down. Final 15 seconds to play here, game number two, and Breeze going to be taking this one down. They're going to be up 2-0 in the series as SJT can't get that one cleared out either. Ruggie, nice little back pass to Trizen. Final second off the clock. Infernal trying to get one for the road. Can't get that on target. Trizen's just going to kill it. And Bree's going to take game number two here. Six to two. As we head into game number three, Asgard going to try and keep from getting swept. Bree's looking to make this a quick 3-0 night. Looking to go 6-0 and overall in games played this season. Only two weeks in, but in Tier 2, that is a feat in and it of itself. As Trizen's now back in the lobby. And, I mean, for Asgard in that one... It, 
Breeze was just doing everything right. Their infield passes were crisp. They were clean. And, and, I, and I really think it caught Asgard off guard, right? Like, in game one, Breeze weren't really going for for those crosses. They weren't going for those short little chip passes. They weren't trying to find too many outlets. They were just trying to bang it off back wall, find doubles, force a mistake, and get a goal that way. And so going into game two, they changed that game plan up, and Asgard just wasn't able to adjust to it. And Breeze took full advantage of it. But now that Asgard kind of knows what to expect going into this one, Expect to see them play a little bit more aggressive. Cut those angles off. Get to those challenges a little bit earlier. And try and get some counter plays going. Because, yes, crosses and midfield passes are great. But when a team starts to expect them and start reading them, you can catch them in 2v1 opportunities back the other way. As SJT is not able to clear that one by Jesper. Finally tries and picks that one up. Wants to get another touch. He's going to bump Ruggy off as SJT drops it into the corner. Jesper, good collection here. Ball still high along back wall. No, no one got the touch on that one. Ruggy ends up getting the first touch. As Infernal Dragon gets the save, clears it all the way back downfield. SJT is going to be there. Good 50 from him. Sends it back into that corner. Jesper finally picks it up. 2v1 for them. But everyone turned off and tries in. Oh, Trizen, I thought he hit that angle, but kills it perfectly for SJT here. Nice pop. Jesper runs into Ruggy, so they both miss. And SJT, right place, right time to finish that one off as no one was up to contest that one. 1-0, 4, 20 to go here. And, I mean, with how these first two games have gone, it you got to feel like Asgard is getting nervous here. They just haven't quite been able to figure out this enigma of a defense that is Breeze. Rival's going to bang this one downfield, but has no boost to do anything with it. Gets a good 50 here. That one's falling right towards net. Ruggy forced to make a save. Jesper wanted to get the shot, not able to. Now Ruggy's just going to pull off, take the boost. Knowing that Infernal and the rest of Asgard's low. Nice beat there. SJT takes the shot. A little soft as Infernal Dragon's able to get the save. Ruggy gets removed from the map. Jesper finds Dragon. Dragon tries to find Jesper. Good 50. Ball bouncing free. Rival had turned back, though. One player left to beat. They can't do anything about that as Ruggy gets it over to SJT. SJT wanted the shot. Couldn't find the angle to get any power on that one. Ball back into their corner. Rival trying to get a pass back here. The Dragon not going to have that one. Ruggy gets it up to Tryzen. They're going to get 50 by Jesper. Jesper gets it to Rival. Rival now looking for Jesper in mid. Can't get the recovery on that one. Easy clear from Tryzen. But they're going to double commit again. And honestly, it feels like even though it's a 1-0 game, Breeze, Breeze is playing really sloppy Rocket League right now. They're, they're double committing a ton. They haven't been punished for it yet, but I feel like after that, that big victory in the last game, they almost feel like they're on cruise control right now as Ruggy gets a demo on Infernal. And it's, it's really only a matter of time before those double commits punish you, but they end up getting rewarded. Good 50 coming out from Ruggy there. That one just bounces right towards net. Jesper does everything he can to get a solid touch on it. It's just falling a little too quickly. It ends up in the back of their net. 2-0, 2-32 to go here. Colonel's going to be taking the shot. Just clears the sidewall. Tries and picks that one up. Nice little catch and carry from him. Wants to get that one far post. Almost able to. Now has this one, gets the flip reset high off back while SJT can't get the shot off. Oh, he is going to want that one back as Trizen did everything he could to beat everybody. But that little bump coming out there from Asgard at the end kept that from being another highlight play here for Breeze. Now SJT pushes it downfield. Trizen and Ruggy wanted the pinch, not gonna be there. Jesper clears this all the way back down and we're just seeing a little bit of boomer ball. I mean, for Breeze being up 2-0, like you can try some extensions and some passing plays, but you really don't have to sell out. Like you're cruising right now. You can force Asgard to make all the plays, make all the challenges and just expend all of their boost 
to break through you guys just keeping possession. Trizen gets it past one, can't get it past the second. Jesper wanted to find a bump. Trizen would have been there anyways. The shot coming out, and Jesper, good quick snipe out of the corner here. Goes, picks up the boost, takes the quick turn. Trizen not expecting him to do that. And he just shoots it near pose right where Jesper came from, knowing Jesper couldn't get back on it. 2-1, minute 19 to go here. Asgard with new life here in game three, but they're going to need to find a way to break through and get another one here. Jesper drops it right down to Rival, and they do just that. Rival, beautiful shot off of this great pass from Jesper. Great adjustment, nice little redirect. Rival drops it in that bottom left corner. The only place that they couldn't get to, and it's 2-2, two, two, 107 to go. This one's going to get cleared back down. SJT low on boost. Just has to play for 50. Ruggy takes a quick shot. Jesper's able to get there, clears it all the way down, wants to get up quick for it. Takes another shot. SJT's going to be awkward, throws it high off back while Ruggy tries to get there. Nice little fake from Rival. Dragon can't finish it. Jesper takes the shot. That one's high. Rival can't finish it off as Ruggy was there for the 50. Now a 2v1 back the other way, but SJT can't get a good touch to follow. Ruggy's just going to push this one into the corner. Rival's going to get pushed on through. Infernal Dragon back into that same corner. Wants to get this shot off. Tries and good read on that one. He's going to be pushing this long side while has no boost though. Leaves it for SJT. SJT gets this one back to Ruggy, but good cut there from Jesper. And all of Breeze a little low on boost right now. SJT and Trizen finally getting some full pads there. But for a minute, all three of them were empty as SJT almost, almost beats Rival to that one to finish it in regulation. And Trizen does just that. What a hell of a shot. Trizen hits the touch. Gets the shot from the dirtiest of angles. And Breeze finished this one off in a sweep. Moved to 2-0 in series and 6-0 in games played so far. And man, what a way to end that series. A beautiful shot coming on out there. But let's pull this up, see if... see if we get someone in here for an interview but again that was an incredible tier two matchup there coming out and i mean breeze moving on to two and oh six and oh overall and whoever was in here watching for uh uh for game film you guys have a lot of planning to do for next week if you do play breeze because they are looking unstoppable right now really really well played from them but again Great evening of Rocket League. Three incredible matches. Thank you all for coming out and joining us. A huge shout out to League OS as well for powering the league, the stream, everything like that. And a be sure to go check out the brand new membership program that just launched today. You can find that in chat. You can find it in the Discord. You can find it everywhere. Get some bonuses. Get some new badges. Get some titles. All of that fun stuff. But... That is going to be it for the evening, everybody. Thank you for coming out. Have a great rest of your evening. Have a wonderful weekend, and we will see you guys back on Tuesday for some week three action here in LOS Champs Season 1. Y'all have a good evening.